Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for coming back. And if you are new here, then welcome. My name is Olivia. I'm at Olivia Rose on Instagram if you wanted to check me out on there as well. Um, but today I'm gonna be filming a video on how to build the perfect autumn capsule wardrobe. So I think I wanted to separate this one from a winter one just because as you all know, it's still quite hot at the moment, so we're not wanting these big jumpers and wool coats and heavy clothes like that. It's still very much about, you know, t-shirts, shirts, the odd lightweight piece of knitwear, uh, blazers, trench coats, everything fun like that. Wanted to talk you through how I have kind of shot my autumn capsule wardrobe to combine really really nicely and go together really well i think that is obviously the meaning of a capsule wardrobe is that um you wear these pieces over and over and they all go together really well but i think with mine everything is kind of slightly different everything's got that slight twist which um yeah i think kind of sums up my style or everything is just very very basic with a slight twist so um yeah let's get started with the video i've tried my best to get everything new so that you can easily shop all of the items because I've done one of these videos before and things that I showed weren't available to shop um, and I know that can be slightly irritating so, um, so yeah you can find all the links to everything down below and I'll also make a note of the sizes that I wear most things I buy oversized so you might want to check that out before um, purchasing it if you want things to fit the same way that um, they fit me. The shirt that I've got on now is French Connection by the way this is just one of their like classic styles it comes in so many colours and they bring it out every year and it's just a really nice kind of everyday slouchy shirt um, and I've got some Zara leather joggers on I'm absolutely loving these at the moment I think they're so cool and I did actually spot that they've got them back in store again but I haven't found them online I will have another look though. Anyway I think that's everything I think I've covered everything there let's get in to the video. First thing I'm going to pull out is this blazer. So this is a camel blazer. Well, actually, I think it's more like a beige blazer, really. Um, this is from H&M. This is an oversized blazer, so it was oversized before I even chose to size up, but I really wanted it to be massive, so I went for a medium. Um, that's great because you can fit lots underneath it. You can put knitwear underneath it if you want, and it's still comfortable, lots of room to move about. Um, but it's just got that kind of dad slash granddad kind of feel to it, really. Um, the reason I like this is because, and I'll probably talk about this a few times throughout the video, uh, this is a very cool tone, camely beige colour. Um, I'm going to call it beige, actually, rather than camel, because, yeah, it's not really camel is it <laughs> but yeah it is a, a cool tone color and i think that's something that i tend to look out for when i'm shopping for beiges i really am not a fan of like a warm camel color i way prefer them to be kind of like almost on the grayer side when um when i purchase beige um so this is one of those pieces that goes with so so much you can put that on over um just a plain white t-shirt you can layer it with shirts you can put it with knitwear um it looks great with jeans leather trousers you can put it under a trench coat you can put it under a leather jacket you can wear it with chunky boots trainers or heels like it just is so so versatile but um yeah i think it's just got that kind of bit of a twist because it is oversized um i keep playing with my hair today i just can't seem to get it right um, anyway, I also picked up that blazer in grey because, well, I felt like I wanted to show you a black blazer but then I thought I actually never really wear a black blazer so that would really not be part of my capsule wardrobe. But I'm loving grey um, blazers. Again, I think it just is such that like dad slash granddad style. This really does look like you've taken like half of your granddad's suit which i think is so cool it's the exact same as this blazer because i just love the shape so much um so yeah it's oversized and again i think it looks great with all those cool tone colors so it just fits really really nicely into my um capsule wardrobe next up is this shirt now this actually features in every single one of these videos that i've ever done um the oversized top shop white shirt is one of those pieces that i've worn so many times this is actually my second one um i had to buy another one just because i wore the other one so much um this is great 
for wearing on its own also goes really really nicely under knitwear i just love the drop tem at the back it's much longer at the back than it is at the front um yeah i just think it's a great shape it's got really really nice kind of stiff cuffs um a stiff collar as well and just like you know when something washes and irons so crisp um this is my idea of the perfect shirt this is my perfect white shirt um and i do think a white shirt is such a staple for any season because i think when layering these just look amazing and i think yeah i just love to add that oversized look with everything and that is just such an easy way to do it you know you can put like a knit over the top that's not really long um and then wear this and it covers your bum if you're wearing like leather leggings or anything so next up i put this leather jacket into the mix so i wasn't sure which leather jacket of mine to put in to the capsule wardrobe video i've got one which is my size and then i've got this one which is really oversized this is meant to be oversized so i have got it in a small but um yeah i just wasn't sure which one to put in the video but i think this year i much prefer this oversized one so yeah i checked this one in this is really really versatile again looks really really good over summer dresses um but also you can just wear it with a pair of jeans and like something really really plain and um it just gives such a like cool biker feel and i absolutely love it it's got silver hardware so a lot of my leather pieces for example this bag which i will talk about a bit later on in the video um have silver hardware i much prefer silver hardware personally i think it's just i don't know i don't know how to describe it i just i just prefer silver hardware to gold um so yeah when buying leather i always do look out for silver hardware this was the bag that i'm talking about so i bought this last year and they actually do it again it's from and other stories and i just love it it's like my perfect black bag i'm not really a massive fan of a chain crossbody i just don't think they're that comfortable especially when you're um taking like quite a lot out with you but this one is just the most comfortable bag and it's got so many sections um I mean, I'll show you inside, but it's a bit of a mess because I literally use it every day. We've got face mask in here, sunglasses, old receipts and everything. But you've got this pocket here at the front, which mine is just full of receipts. Um, and then two sections and then another zipper pocket here. So everything just feels very safe in it. Um, and yeah, it's kind of not aged, but worn really well. It hasn't got very scratched at all. Um, and it just seems to be getting softer and softer as I use, use it, which I love um so yeah i'm obsessed with that bag every time i use it i always get so many compliments i think it was quite expensive it was around like 150 pounds but for a good quality leather bag which is such like a minimal and usable bag like that i think it is worth it because yeah cost per wear i think i've definitely got my money's worth yeah that's what i mean <laughs> next up is another jacket so i knew i wanted to put a trench coat in this video but again i wasn't sure which one to pick up um i was just going to put like a plain beige one in but then i thought about it and i think i actually do wear this one more and prefer it um so yeah this is my new top shop check trench i think it's great it's got so many colors within the check that it just goes with so much it looks amazing with black it looks amazing with navy blue it looks amazing with whites with creams it's just so so wearable and yeah as i said i just think it's a bit more different to your usual trench coat um and i'm honestly so so impressed with the quality even my mum commented on the quality and i think it takes quite a lot for her to be like oh that is actually a good quality jacket um, and she did so thanks mum <laughs> okay so next up is the white t-shirt um i think that just kind of speaks for itself it's such an easy item to wear i can think of so many different ways to style this but for me usually i wear a white t-shirt under a blazer or a trench coat if it's not a particularly hot no not a particularly cold day <laughs> uh so for this time of year this is kind of perfect to get that use out of your jackets without overheating basically but on a bit of a cooler day i think these are amazing so this is my second one of these i had one last year from top shop i might have had the version the year before as well i can't remember but i just find these so so handy just to add that extra layer of warmth when you need it 
um, but it still is just like such a minimal piece that you barely really even notice that you're wearing it, if that makes sense. Um, so it's really, really fitted. It is slightly sheer, I won't lie, but if you put um, a skin colour bra underneath it, then it's absolutely perfect. Um, this has got a slightly high neck, which I really, really like. Um, I think kind of with my, um, the length of my hair, a high neck does look really great, um, but I'm not, not quite ready for the roll necks yet. So yeah, this is a really handy, handy piece to have in your wardrobe. Okay, so leather trousers wise, I am definitely very much still on the hunt for that perfect pair of leather skinnies. Um, but I bought these from Zara like years ago and I wear them every year, but they're just so broken. Um, I've got a massive hole at the back there and then the um, popper, like the paint is all peeling off and then at the bottom they're all coming undone as well. So I feel a bit hesitant to buy another Zara pair because obviously this has shown that they don't last particularly well. Although how long have I had them? I've probably had them about five years and I wear them a lot so maybe I have had my wear. I don't know. Um, but I've never been able to find a pair that I like as much as this because these are high waisted and they've got belt loops and they've got like a normal popper and zip um, and I just love them. But yeah, like I said, haven't been able to find them again. I bought Zara's version of this year. This year's why can't I get my words out today? I bought this year's version from Zara and they're just not the same. I could barely pull them up and they just, yeah, they were all wrong. <laughs> I think, I don't know what size I've got in these. Maybe that's half the issue. But anyway, I will save the leather trouser chat for another day. I had some from Topshop last year, which were quite good actually. And next up, I have picked up a black pair of jeans. So these are actually the um, Zara slouchy ones that a lot of you have been asking me about recently. They haven't actually got them at the minute, but I reckon they will bring them back, um, hopefully, anyway, fingers crossed. I've chosen black jeans over blue jeans for my capsule wardrobe, just because recently I've not really been wearing blue jeans, and I don't know why, because <laughs> the last few months I was like, I, I don't like black jeans, don't like black jeans. As soon as it's flipped to autumn, I way prefer them. Um, I just think they're a bit more wearable, and like trying to pair blue with some of these colours, I think... I don't know, it just doesn't feel quite as chic. Um, but yeah, blue or black jeans, either, whatever you prefer and whatever kind of shape you prefer as well. Um, and then I picked up this black belt. This is my Zara one. I regret buying this already because it's got a gold buckle. Um, I should have got one with a silver buckle because as I said, I way prefer silver hardware and I just have this thing about pairing my um, like gold hardware with the silver hardware in my bag and my boots are silver as well and yeah I just I just should have got the silver hardware so don't make the same mistake I did so in terms of boots I've got these ones from Zara which are last year's kind of chunky boots and it's so weird because by the end of last winter I found these so comfortable now I've gone to put them on again this year and they're literally giving me the worst blisters and I don't know what like, what is that all about like have my feet changed shape have these boots got smaller when they've been stored like I don't know but they've gone back to being really uncomfortable so I'm not sure whether to just stick it out or whether to buy a new pair I've got my eye on some and other stories ones and I've also got my eye on some vagabond ones so yeah I'll just wait and see, try a few pairs on and see what I think. Um, but the other pair of shoes that I've included in this video has got to be my um, white Veja B10 trainers. I wear these all the time, you can see they are so worn, but they're just so comfortable and so many people find these really uncomfortable. I've got the Velcro ones and they literally cut my feet up so badly but these just don't and i don't know what it is um yeah like i, I honestly i can't put my back maybe these are leather i think my velcro ones might be the not leather ones um that actually might be it so maybe you need to get the leather ones um yeah Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, that brings me to the end of this video. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it and it's been kind of helpful to see what I would consider 
being my capsule wardrobe for this season. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you'll see me wearing all of these pieces all of the time because as I said, these are definitely my most worn items. Um, and you might find it helpful to also see all the different ways that I style them. Although I've obviously shown you a few ways on this video, there are hundreds and hundreds more. So do make sure that you head over there and give me a follow if you don't already follow me over there. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy and hopefully I will see you all soon.